please consult the EZH instruction manual for references to specific drawings, key numbers, and part numbers. Depressurize the regulator from the outlet side before loosening any fittings. Remove the pilot control lines attached to the regulator. Follow best practices maintenance procedures. Make sure all surfaces are clean, free from dirt and debris before reinstalling any O-rings and split rings or reassembling any other parts or components. Remove nuts that are attached to the intermediate flange and are located below the lower actuator casing. Carefully lift the entire actuator, both upper and lower actuator casings, off the body. Set the actuator in a stable work area. Remove the hex socket cap screws and lock washers from the disc holder assembly. Lift off the disc holder assembly and the disc retainer. Remove the O-ring, inspect the O-ring for damage or wear, and replace it if necessary. Lightly lubricate the O-ring before placing it in the sleeve adapter. Return to the body. Remove the cage. Remove the seat ring. Remove the O-ring. Inspect the O-ring for damage and replace if necessary. Lightly lubricate the O-ring before placing it back in the body. Set the seat ring back in the body with the curved side down and the seat edge up. Place the cage on top of the seat ring. The cage will engage the seat ring. Go back to the sleeve adapter. Place the disc holder assembly and the disc retainer on the sleeve adapter. Insert lock washers and the socket head cap screws. Then tighten the socket head cap screws. Refer to the instruction manual for the proper torque specifications. Carefully lift the combined upper and lower actuator casing assembly and place it on the body. Secure with bolts and nuts using a star configuration. See the instruction manual for proper torque specifications.